Welcome to A Moment with the Mills. We continue with our trilogy of Christmas Psalms. And I'm thinking of songs today, two songs actually. One, a very uh, familiar song that came, oh, back in the 70s probably, and thinking, our God reigns, our God reigns. That's been through my mind as I read this section of scripture. And then also I hear the thunderous line from the hallelujah chorus when the men sing, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. One of Manny's favorite words there. Manny, continue reading Psalm 96 for us as we celebrate the music and the joy of Christmas. Thank you, Barbara. Here we are on verse 10. Uh, I see this like a climax in this great psalm. It says, Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Oh, Father, we see here your radical justice. That indeed, Father, you will judge everyone correctly, righteously, Father. You have given us, Father, every opportunity to trust in Jesus. You have. There's a heaven, there's an earth. Oh God, there is a way of righteousness to heaven, through Christ Jesus. There's a way of perdition to hell with the devil, his demons, and all the agents, all the people that chose not to obey your Father, not to trust Jesus. And you say here, Father, that you are going to reign. You are the one that reigns in all the nations. Even when we don't see it, you do. You are in control. You are sovereign over it all, Father God. And there will be a day where every nation, every nation, every tribe will come and worship you in adoration, Father. Indeed, you reign. And that's why Christ came. Christ came on uh, humbling, Father, as a baby on a manger, but he's gonna come back as a warrior on that white horse. So Father, you also said to us that this world has been established by you and it shall not be moved until you say so, because we know that Christ also purchased with his precious blood, the new heavens and the new earth, and he's gonna come back as king to reign forever and ever. So Father, we thank you for Christ our King. Father, I pray that during this Christmas season, we will be able to really reaffirm and affirm and confirm that Jesus is truly our King. I pray that for the church in America and for our RTO family, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 